uh, hi everyone and welcome back so we will also talk few more use cases of uh, the lambda with uh, other services of aws okay so let's say we are writing the lambda authorizer right lambda authorizer is the uh, lambda what it does is it validates your authorization for all the requests which are passing through the api gateway right so we can write a lambda authorizer and we can also use a serverless to write it right what are the other use cases we have i mean i will just go through them so here we have these are the different lambda triggers we have right so if we talk about the multiple use cases this lambda trigger can be associated with any of the service like s3 so if you see lambda trigger these all many services are there so lambda is basically used for rest apis to write a, a, in a serverless application but heavily it is being used as a lambda trigger so api gateway is also a lambda trigger when you are writing the rest apis because there is someone who is executing this lambda through something it can be api gateway it can be s3 sqs sns right so you can also attach api gateway as a lambda trigger where you have to define what is your api what is your http api endpoint right all these things so api gateway is also a lambda trigger so api gateway is whenever the request is coming to the api gateway this lambda will execute whenever the file is getting uploaded on the s3 this lambda will execute whenever the new message is coming to the sqs sns topic this lambda will execute so this is what lambda trigger is there is some entity which is going to trigger the lambda right lambdas are event driven so whenever there is a particular http event or the file upload event or the message send event all these gets triggered then lambda will execute if you see these particular actions sqs so here we will be specifying the queue on which particular queue we are adding this lambda trigger right so i already have this lambda created and here i can just go into the lambda trigger option i will go to this test lambda and uh, when you just see the lambda console here using this add trigger button you can go inside the triggers and you can add whatever you want so i was talking about sqs so what i want is i don't want to, to attach this lambda to the api gateway and expose it as an http endpoint what i want to do is whenever you are sending sqs message i want to execute the code which will drain the message from the sqs and will process it or maybe will write it to another sqs queue so that is a node.js code we are going to write and this lambda will automatically get invoked whenever there is a message coming to that sqs queue similarly the sns whenever anything is getting posted to the sns topic there can be a lambda can also be as a subscriber of that topic i mean sns is like simple notification service where you can actually send a message to a lambda to http endpoint to sqs there can be a multiple subscriber of a particular topic so here you need to specify the topic name once the message is published lambda can be a subscriber and uh, that will read the message and do something else right similarly s3 you are specifying the bucket name and then the actions like create update delete put all these events let's say when you are creating object in the s3 bucket then you wanted to execute something then you can actually add a s3 trigger what we are doing is i have a source s3 bucket i keep uploading the thumbnails which are the large images but i wanted to process them and resize them and upload it to the secondary bucket so i can do that with the s3 trigger whenever the object is getting created in the s3 bucket i will execute this lambda it will read that uh, event object having s3 file name and preprocess it and write it to the another s3 bucket okay so this is the the use case of s3 as a lambda trigger similarly you can add it to another services like dynamo db table whenever you are updating a record in the dynamo db table then you can execute this lambda api gateway we have discussed even the load balancers application load balancers are nothing but uh, balancing the load based on the routing rules api v1 users go there api v1 cart go there right so particular endpoint we can actually point to this lambda i mean the load balancers can also trigger the lambda directly similarly the cloud watch logs dynamo db there are many right so these are all lambda triggers we were discussing 
so we will try to write few like snh sqs s3 these examples we can cover and these are the easy ones also using serverless okay uh, thanks everyone